What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Uh, email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. I appreciate you guys so much. And, you know, we're going to get into this. RS is the best. So he's going to talk about his situation, which is crazy as heck. But, you know, these are real life situations that go on. And that's what it's about. What's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing, bro? Happy good. Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter, man. Yeah, man. Looking good. I, I need to lose some weight, man, after seeing how you put on that shirt. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Do you have any social media channels or anything like that? Always want to shout you out, you know? No, I don't got any social media. You know, no, nah, but that's okay. I mean, that's why we have the show so that we could let people know that sometimes the trucking industry is just crazy out here and right. things happen. And so, you know, you, you send me this email. And basically, I'm looking very close on this video like, did you have a stop sign? Did they have a stop sign? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, this this, this intersection, it looked like, you know, I'll let you explain it. Tell me what the heck, where were you, what time was it, and what the heck happened? Because you got some good reaction. Yeah, it was somewhere around, I would say, somewhere around 6 p.m. I forgot exactly where, but it was just southeast of Charlotte. North Carolina, and uh, I turn right onto the street, and I'm gaining speed. You can see my speed on the right, on the top right of the of the dash cam video, and I'm one mile away from getting onto the interstate. I just picked up my load, headed to Huntingburg, Indiana, and I'm right before I pull into this intersection. I'm looking at both of these cars, and I see they're both at a stop sign. And thank God I was looking at both of them because I was expecting something stupid to happen, you know. And behold, <laughs> as soon as I'm in the middle of this intersection, this idiot on the right just blew through that intersection. And he didn't even look left when he did that, you know. He, just, he was just looking straight as if it was just a normal day, nothing going on, you know. He just, he just kept going straight. And then that's when my load just busted through my trailer. And, uh... Oh, no man and it was so loud everybody everybody that was there in that town the whole town came outside to see what happened you know and i was pissed man and uh and then i was uh thinking about it i was like wait was this car on the opposite on the opposing lane why was he stopped there like he had a stop sign this dude didn't have no stop sign so i think maybe that car might have confused that other guy but the other guy still sort of looked to the left and saw me coming you know you can't miss a truck Man, that took about four hours out of my day. What I had to do was I went and parked on a hill, and I went in reverse, hit my brakes, made my load shift back. Then I went and put some straps in the front, and I still made my delivery on time the next morning in Indiana, and it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, that's how funny. Wait a So you found like, a, like an incline, and then you just like hit your brakes? And then let the load fall back? <laughs> yeah, I found that incline, and I went in reverse as fast as I could and slammed on my brake, and the load shifted back to exactly where it was before. <laughs> well, you know, uh, now, uh, were you renting that trailer, or is that the company trailer? What is that right there? Uh, company trailer. You know, um, you know, did anything happen? Uh, now, now, tell me this. Uh, if you didn't have that dash cam, uh, with, with the company or – would they would they try to go after you because it it you know when when something goes through like that without a dash cam video or anything it will look like always it's the truck driver's fault right yeah exactly exactly they would have said they probably would have said that there was something i could have done for it not to happen you know they would have they probably would have they would have said you know there was no car that blew through an intersection you know ain't no ain't nobody gonna do that you know that's you know? crazy that's crazy, man. I'm but thank God for that there. dash cam, because otherwise they would have tried blaming it on me, the insurance and the company, probably. Yeah. Now, was the um, was the cargo okay? There was nothing wrong with it. No, the cargo was fine. And uh, when I get to the when I got to the receiver in Indiana, everybody was laughing. They're like, "Wow!" They were like, "Wow!" You went through all that to deliver us our load of wood. <laughs> you know <laughs> oh it was just wood <laughs> yeah it was just wood it was just like it was just plywood just sheets of plywood on top of each other and it was like forty five thousand pounds i have to say it just blew right trailer. <laughs> man that's crazy man um <laughs> now, did, did you take a picture you should have took a picture of you getting straps around your trailer that would have been hilarious bro hey i got pictures of that too i can send it to you oh you do oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. i gotta see how you macgyvered that man so you know at the end of the day, 
you know, what is the PSA for all the truck drivers to know uh, in in a situation like this? You know, one, I know for sure the dash cam, but I want you to, you know, let people know. I'd say at all times, 100% of the time, always, don't just look a fourth of a mile ahead of you. Don't look a half a mile ahead of you. Look, look a mile ahead of you and at the same time, look at everything around you. Just constantly keep an eye on everything that's going on around you. You know, even if you're in a town like this, you know, you're passing through a small town, even though you think people know what they're doing, you know, dudes at a stop sign, you, you got to just accept some, ex, expect shit to happen like that. <laughs> hey, that's, that's good advice, man. And dude, I'm telling you, brother, but yeah, no, send me, uh, send me some pictures of, of that. And uh, this whole video for everybody is just, we like to make videos of real life situations. And situations for once that went right. The truck driver RS did everything he was supposed to do, and he had the right devices to keep himself from getting in trouble, fired, or lose his CDL. And then the crazy part is, I mean, fixing, MacGyvering the load, strapping it back, going on an incline, reversing, and hitting the <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I would tell you, man, A plus for this. Uh, I guess when the load has to make it, it has to make it. I'm going 25 miles per hour at most. And imagine if I was going like 45. Imagine if I was on a bigger road and I was going like 45. What would have happened then? That's crazy, man. No, I'm A. Hey, I'm glad you're okay. You know, I appreciate you for sharing this story, man. You know, for everyone else that wants to be on, you know, Mother Trucker News, just email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. We'll get you on the show. And, you know, uh, any shout, shout outs to anyone at home, RS. Shout out to my family, you know, uh, all yeah. my friends. Oh, yeah, they're going to see this. Right? All the good people in the world, actually. Shout out hey. to all the good truckers, all the good people. I tell you, man, because trucking in the industry right now is a tough time. And so we. we yeah, gotta... we got some clowns. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll leave it at that. that that'll be part two. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Hey, I really enjoyed this interview. I appreciate you, you know, and happy Easter, brother. Hey, thank you, brother. Happy Easter to you, too. Have a good day.